What's good, everybody? I'm Eric Trent, and I'm back with part three of the top 25 Midwest rappers of all time. If you already saw part one and part two, I appreciate you. And if not, go ahead and check out those after you watch this video. Let's wrap this up. Coming in at number five and number four, I've got two members of the legendary rap group Bone Thugs and Harmony. At five, I've got Crazy Bone coming out of Cleveland. Two of his best solo songs are Murder Mo and Nothing But Music. His best project would be Gemini, Good Vs. Evil, which is an album. Number four, I've got Lazy Bone also coming out of Cleveland. Two of his best solo songs are New Life and Law of Attraction, which appears on his Law of Attraction mixtape, great mixtape. You can check that out on Dat Piff. Number three, brace yourselves. I know a lot of a lot of you guys that are watching this might not agree, but I've got Eminem. Little known fact about Eminem, he actually wasn't born in Detroit. He was born in St. Joseph, Missouri, later moved to Detroit where he grew up. Two of my favorite songs by Eminem are Never Over and Infinite. Don't think you can find Infinite on streaming services, but you can find it on YouTube. That song came out before he got signed. Incredible flow, great beat, check it out. Another unpopular opinion that I have about Eminem is I think his best album is Recovery. At number two, I've got Royce to 5'9 coming out of Detroit. Royce and Eminem were actually in a duo called Bad Meets Evil and they're rumored to be coming back in 2020 with a new album. Two of my favorite solo songs from Royce are Life and Beats Keep Calling. Beats Keep Calling appears on the classic mixtape Bar Exam 4, which you can also find on Dat Piff. Royce is also a member of Slaughterhouse, and if you've never heard of Slaughterhouse, check them out as well. Before I mention number one, I'm gonna go through a handful of honorable mentions these guys are great rappers. They just barely didn't make the cut for me. We've got Ad2 coming out of Chicago. Knowledge coming out of Chicago as well. HBK Kid from Detroit. Danny Brown from Detroit. Freddie Gibbs from Gary, Indiana. Chris Calico and Cut Calhoun coming out of Kansas City. Now we got number one. Um, I'm from Lawrence, Kansas. Maybe I have a slight bias. But I honestly think that this is the best Midwest rapper of all time. And he's still got plenty of, uh, of time to grow, plenty of time to keep on putting out more music. And I'm excited to see where he's gonna go from here. But I've got XV coming out of Wichita, Kansas. Two of my favorite songs from XV are When We're Done and The Kick. My favorite project from XV would be Popular Culture, which is a mixtape. You can also find that on Dat Piff. And man, I'm just, I'm just really happy that XV finally got to release his, what he's calling his first official studio album uh, this past year in 2019. Loved it, one of my favorites of the year. Um, but yeah, he's got plenty of music that just dropped in 2019. Plenty of music coming in 2020. Definitely check him out. That's all I got for the top 25 Midwest rappers. If you guys wanna see me make more lists, um, I'll, I'll take plenty of suggestions, whatever you want me to do, leave a comment, uh, send me a message, text me, whatever you want to do, and I'll try to make that happen. I also am planning on making an Instagram page as well. Um, so yeah, man, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share this with a friend. I appreciate you guys for, for checking in. And until next time, appreciate it.